What's up guys, Bucci Boy here, and we are back with another tier list video. You can tell if you've seen the title, we are doing a My Hero Academia Best Girl tier list. And I wanted to do this tier list because I just had so much fun doing the uh, Black Clover Best Girl tier list, and the link for that is in the description. I had so much fun doing that that I just wanted to do another one, and um, this one's a little shorter. Let me show you guys. This one's a little shorter. Uh, the Black Clover one probably had three or four rows of girls. Um, this one has two, and they're not even full rows. So this one won't take too long. Um, but I guess without further ado, let's get right into it. And a quick disclaimer before I start ranking these girls, what I'm taking into consideration with this tier list specifically is the characters themselves and also the quirks that they have, because that's such an essential part of this series that I feel like I have to include that in the ranking. So first on the chopping block is Mina Ashido, and she's the pink girl. She's in class 1A. She's got the uh, the acid powers. Her design's pretty cool, but her powers kind of whatever. Um, and I know her powers have improved and gotten a lot better, but um. They're not they're not great uh, right now. So taking that into consideration She's gonna start us off at a solid B tier and that's where she's gonna sit um, Next we have Kamie now if you remember uh, Kamie is the girl that Himiko who's the the villain um, This chick right here Kamie is the girl that she impersonated uh, during the competition that they had with all the schools um, her, her power, I don't even remember what Kamie's actual power is, but I do remember that she is a baddie, and she's she's crazy. She's really cool. She's obviously very, very powerful, and her design is fantastic. Uh, we're going to give Kamie an A tier. Next, we have uh, Cow Lady, and that's actually her name. She's in the, uh, the Two Heroes movie. She's kind of a minor character. Um, she's got a cool quirk. She's got the horns. I'm going to put Cow Lady at C tier. Not much to say about her. Um, okay, next is Deku's mom, which is kind of weird, but Deku's mom is next on the chopping block, and um, honestly, she's, she's kind of a buzzkill. Um, uh, she's, she's not that great. If it were Deku's mom before Deku were a teenager, it'd be an easy A or S tier. No questions asked. But since then, she seems like she's kind of, um, diminished in value, so to speak, both aesthetically and as a character. I mean, she's kind of, like I said, she's kind of a buzzkill. So we're going to take Deku's mom and we're going to put her at D tier right now. Okay, next is one of Shoto's sisters, uh, one of the Todoroki family girls. She seems like she's pretty cool. She doesn't really take after Endeavor. She's she's fairly friendly. Um, so we're going to give her a C tier. That, that'll be good. She's not anything special, but she's also not bad in any way. Oh, next is that girl. She makes all of the um, equipment for them, and she's like a support hero. Her name is Hatsume Mei. I don't know how I would have forgotten that because she says it like a dozen times, and she says the word babies like 50 times. Hatsume Mei is weird. Uh, she's wacky and weird, but I like her. She's she's really fun, really interesting character. I'm gonna give her an A tier, and the shameless self-promotion that she has during the, uh, the tournament arc is just hilarious, so I think she deserves an A tier. Next, we have Kyoka Jiro, and she's the um, earphone jack girl, and she's cool. She's kind of like uh, Ashido, where she's kind of um, a background character in the class. Definitely not one of the forefront players, um, but she's all right. I'm going to give her an easy C tier. That's where I'm going to put her. I think her design is a little less interesting than uh, Ashido's, and her quirk, while it's cool, has like very niche applications, so I'm going to leave it there. And as another disclaimer, I also haven't read the manga for My Hero Academia. I'm saving myself for the season four coming out this fall, and I'm super, super excited excited for that, but I'm not reading the manga. So if there are any manga abilities, I don't know them. All right, let's go through the next few a little quicker. This green haired girl, her name is Emmy. Uh, she's one of the teachers. She has, I think she has a crush on Aizawa. Um, she's cool. Uh, I like her design. She's pretty rad. Um, she's, she's kind of a babe. She gets an A tier because she's just really, really rad looking. Next is this girl and she's the girl who's in class B. Um, and I think she can make her hands really big or something. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, she's got a fun personality. She gets a B tier. Ooh, now we have, and I'm going to put them back to back. We have the three girls who are the pussycats, the wild, wild pussycats. Uh, first we have Mandalay and 
I'm gonna be honest, she's she's by far my favorite. She just seems like the coolest out of the three wild, wild pussycats. Excuse me, I said three. There's four of them. Like uh, Tiger, he's he's one of them, but I'm he's not on the best girl list uh, with good reason. I'm gonna put Mandalay at A tier. I like Mandalay. She's really cool. Next is Pixie Bob, and uh, real quick, I'll give her. She'll get a B tier. And the last one is Ragdoll. And I'll give Ragdoll a B tier as well. We'll give her the pass on that. Even though she's a little uh, little quirky, to say the least. <laughs> get it? Quirky? <laughs> All right, who do we have next? This is the girl from Two Heroes. This is the girl from Two Heroes. And she's cool. I don't remember her being like anything crazy. But she's really cool, really friendly. And she has a very central role in that movie. So we'll give her the pass on a B tier. Let's go for it. Ah. All right, guys. Midnight. Ooh. Midnight is crazy. Um, I'm surprised that her design and her behaviors are allowed in a weekly Shonen Jump manga. But um, I mean, she's got the handcuffs on and everything. I mean, hold on. Look at this. Wow. Look at her right here. Jeez, uh, Midnight is is rad. She's gonna get, mm, Midnight is gonna get an S tier. That's just how it goes, man. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Bakugo's mom, Bakugo's mom gets S tier, no questions asked, easily. We're not even gonna think about that. We're not gonna discuss it. No discussion, no questions asked. Next is Momo Yaoyoruzu. Her quirk is like where she can create things from different parts of her body, which is really just an excuse for her to show more skin at every turn. Um, she she kind of has this, uh, she, she's more in the forefront in class 1A, and she's definitely one of the more powerful and uh, intelligent uh, girls in that class. We're going to give Yao Yoruzu an A tier. She's, she's pretty cool. She's, you know, it's like, I don't want to put her up there, but you can't argue against it. So that's just the way it goes. Um, I don't know if we're going to, our E tier is going to be pretty weak, uh, for this list. But that's okay. Mount Lady. Mm. Mount Lady was high tier for me at the beginning of the series, but she's kind of lost some value to me over time. Um, I'm going to put Mount Lady at C tier. I, I know I'm going to catch some hate for that, but that's just the way it is. Sorry guys. Um, Make your own tier list if you want to put her at S tier or some shit. But yeah, that's the way it is. Um, next is Nana Shimura. She was the one who was the predecessor to All Might. She had one for all before All Might had it. And she's also like the grandmother of Shigaraki, right? So dang, from what we know of her, she's pretty cool. But I'm not going to put her anything super high. She's going to get an easy B tier. Yeah, that, that works for me. Next, we have Nejire Hado. And she is one of the big three that we're going to meet here uh, this next season, season four. Well, we've already met them, I think, but we're going to meet her especially well in season four. I don't know much about her, but she's S tier and we're just going to call it at that. If you see her, uh, her design is really cool. Her hero costume is something else and her power is really, really rad. She gets to like manipulate um, energy shockwaves. I know that's kind of a spoiler, but you know, minor, minor spoiler. Um, She's really cool. S tier. We're left with a few now. Uh, the nurse. Uh, D tier. E, sorry. Shoto's mom. Mm. Notice how we have finally found someone worthy of the E tier. She was such a jerk to Shoto when he was like, she poured water on his face. I get that like there was abuse with like Endeavor and all that. I, I'm just taking it at face value. She gets to be E tier. Maybe she'll go to higher tiers as the series progresses. All right, guys, last few that we have, we have Ibarra Shiozaki, and she's the girl with the vines for her hair. Um, she was pretty great, if I remember. She was she was really tough. She was defeated by Ida, and he just like pushed her out of the arena before she could react. Um, but besides that, I think she was really tough, and her design is unique. She reminds me a lot of Poison Ivy from, uh, from Batman. So I'm gonna give her a B tier. That's, you know, solid, but not incredible. Okay, moving on, we have uh, Himiko Toga, and she is psycho. Her quirk is where she can, uh, if she has someone's blood, she can disguise herself as that person. And that's really, really handy for the Villains Association. Um, and she's used it. We've already seen she used it, like I said earlier, for Kamiya here. She already used that ability. And she has this wicked weird crush, if you could call it that, on Deku, uh, which I 
that's its own thing. I'm going to give her an S tier. Yeah, I know. That's, that's weird, right? But she gets S tier. She's really cool. I, I think she's rad. Next, we have our last four. This is um, Psycho Intelli is her name. And she and her crew were against some of the students from class 1A in the uh, exam arc. And that was a whole thing. I think the earphone jack girl really came in handy in that fight. Um, but ultimately, this girl wasn't anything special, but her design's okay. C tier. Next two are both in class 1A. Um, Tsuyu Asui, the frog girl. She, I mean, we all know she's like a fan favorite. Um, which is why I'm going to give her A tier. No need to really discuss it. She's super fun. Probably the most uh, interesting female character in the class, if you ask me. Besides the invisible girl, who's not even on this list. Where is she? <laughs> okay. Um, the invisible girl gets an S tier. We're just going to imagine that she's there. Um, you have Uraraka. She's like the poster girl. She's the uh, main, she's Deku's female counterpart, essentially, uh, just not nearly as powerful or relevant these days. We're going to put her right at the B tier. Finally, you have this woman, and she's the woman who has like snakes in her hair, and I think she was in charge of uh, Momo and, and one other girl. Oh, this chick. She was in charge of Momo and this chick. She's like their, uh, their mentor, their interns for her. And to wrap it up, we're going to give her an easy... Mm, she seemed pretty rad. We're going to give her an A tier. Yeah, guys. That's it. Check it out. Uh, e tier, Shoto's mom. D tier, right here. C tier. These characters are mainly just not so much relevant or their quirks aren't that great. B tier. This is where if a character is just interesting, that'll get her into the B tier at the very least. A tier. These are some baddies. These are some heavy hitters. And the S tiers are the cream of the crop. You have Midnight. You have Bakugo's mom. You have Nejire. And you have Himiko. Well, guys, that's it for the My Hero Academia conclusive best girl tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I have so much fun making these tier list videos. So please let me know what tier list video I should do next. I'm open to anything within the realms of anime or manga. So please, please, please just leave a comment letting me know what you want me to do. I'll see you guys real soon with some One Piece discussion. I've been meaning to talk about the latest stuff with the opening and what's happening in Wano in the manga. And so I have a lot of stuff coming in that direction, but stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys next time. Boochie Boy, out.